Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel, or hi if you're new. I'm Anna Mae, and today I'm going to be styling and trying on all of the outfits I bought in the last year of lockdown or quarantine or whatever your country calls it. As we approach our uh, quarantine anniversary, which I think here in Ireland is about like the 12th or so of March, which is days away. I've been reflecting on all of the things I've bought this year that I haven't worn because I haven't really gone anywhere. But I did have some things planned which I had purchased for and then I also just purchased stuff that I thought was cute and hopefully will wear someday. But that day has not come yet so <laughs> I'm going to try them on. I'm not going to try on absolutely everything. Um, some things I think might not fit right now, which is just, I mean, I don't really care. Um, sometimes things are too big, sometimes things are too small. Works like that. I'm pretty sure all of these fit things fit when I bought them. Some of them are questionable purchases and we'll get to that. Um, but yeah, hopefully at some point this summer, even if it's just hanging out with my one friend who lives here, uh, I will get to wear some of these cute outfits. Uh, also, if you're not new to my channel, you will notice that my hair is straightened right now, which is rare, and we're having a bit of a hair situation. So I'm going to be cutting a little bit of my hair, uh, not in this video, and also, yeah, I haven't had my hair done since August, and I won't get it done until probably like May or June, so. What fun times we live in. So we're gonna start with it's not going to be in chronological order because to be honest I can't remember what I bought first but some of them have a story behind them and some of them don't. Long story short, I'm trying on clothes that I haven't gotten to wear because of lockdown. Also, I'm going to, you know, put it out there that uh, coronavirus, if you are in basically, unless you're in like a zero COVID country, it's uh, not over and I would appreciate if you stayed home and stopped having parties. Thank you. Okay, now to the more fun part. The first dress I'm gonna try on, most of these are dresses. Uh, this dress was purchased for a specific occasion. It was for going to Geneva with my like, cohort in grad school uh, for like a networking kind of a trip. So obviously got canceled um, because it was supposed to be in like April, but I purchased this really cute dress and it uh, still has the tags on it. So. Let's try it on. So this is the Bowden dress. It fits. It's really cute in my opinion. I do have a bit of an issue with it like gaping at the chest but that's just something that happens with me and shirts. Um, but I still think it is so cute. You know, I wish I could have worn it around Geneva but that's whatever. Um, it ties, okay I tied it wrong, but it has a little tie at the waist. I think it has pockets. It does, which is just handy. Um, the collar sits quite closed, which is fine. I mean, you could still wear a necklace or something over it, but I think it'd be cute to have a sweater over it. It's kind of, I still have socks on. I'm gonna take those off because I have shoes to try on other things with, but uh, I don't know what shoes I would wear this with necessarily. Um, probably, you know, casually with some sort of sandal. I could probably wear it with my Jack Rogers, which are in the pile there, but um, yeah, I never got to that stage because we pretty much knew the trip was canceled in March, so. Um, cute. This will definitely have its time to shine, but unfortunately that time is not right now. So what can you do? Um, I think I'll just talk about briefly the two pieces I'm not going to try on. This adorable body can hear the tags. This is an adorable bodysuit from Hollister. If I can, I'll link it down below. Um, it's got a really big open back. Um, it's really cute. It's in the underwear section, but it's like definitely something you would wear, well, <laughs> something I would definitely wear out and about. It's got a little crisscross and it does actually have cups in it. It's not very supportive. I'll say that. And I think I got a small, yeah, I got a small. Um, and I would be, I actually can't even give you any size guidance. I'm pretty sure this is a UK 10 petite. That's generally, take that as my size. I could have actually gone down a size in this because it is very stretchy, but I will link it down below. Oh yeah, it's sheer in the body. So cute. Obviously I haven't gone out anywhere, so I haven't worn that. And then I also got this blazer from Dunn Stores. 
so this is cute i've styled this a couple times on instagram if you don't follow me on instagram it's animate by design um i love this it's just a staple piece for me love it but it hasn't had that many outings pretty much all of its outings have probably been documented on instagram so unfortunate but the truth okay so unfortunately i think i've decided i'm not going to try on either of these two dresses because i realized that there's issues with both of them well not issues but i kind of need a strapless bra for this one also i'm not sure if this one fits this is a lily pulitzer kind of silk slip dress i bought it on depop i think i got it from someone in germany uh love it so cute i love lily pulitzer there's more lily stuff um in oh that reminds me I have a top but I did get to wear the top so we're, we're not gonna count it uh, it's on my Instagram I also got the pearl top in um, in a patchwork print over the summer but I got this love this have not worn it though it's it's a medium but it's a small smaller medium I own Lily stuff in smalls and I could go to an extra small in other styles so strange uh, and then this dress is from gal meets glam so this needs to be taken up a lot and again i need like a strapless bra and i don't really care to change into one right now it's a cute dress gal meets glam no longer exists julia engel julia Burlsheimer has rebranded to her name and the clothing store that she was running is no longer um i will say i was very disappointed in the quality of gal meets glam stuff and I think she was too. That's seemingly why she wrapped up the business. That's what it sounded like to me. But yeah, I was not very happy with the quality of the clothing. Uh, the lining is like cheap. The seams, like there's threads showing at the seams. Not great, but this is such a cute dress. Um, I do need to get it altered. It's a little bit big. And the other one was also a little bit big and a bit small. Just, I wasn't a fan of the sizing, but definitely follow me on Instagram I will be wearing this during the summer but not right now the next actual try on I'm gonna pop this on uh from I got this in TK Maxx and I'm actually gonna put shoes on and stuff with this because I think this is gonna be so cute I think the lighting got weird um so when I first purchased this dress let's get the full oh yeah look at it I'm gonna put on these white sandals these are the only new shoes um that I've gotten there are these super cute white black heel sandals from asos they're just asos own brand um when i put them on i will tell you when i first got this dress my mother's first reaction was where do you think you're going she was like wh like where are you where are you going that you're gonna wear that and i was like i don't know clear like a bit of my life uh this was 25 euro in tk maxx i saw it i loved it uh so i bought it I love things that have like shearing and elastic stuff on top because of just how I'm built on top. I find it hard to get things that fit. I think it's supposed to be off the shoulder, but I'm not gonna wear it like that. I just kind of wear it as a wide neck, which is just kind of how it sits when I pull it on. I just threw on these little white sandals with it. Uh, I think they look cute. It makes it, you can't see them, can you? Doo -doo -doo. There you go definitely makes it look more dressy um i could raise this camera up oh my god if i could stop bending over and squatting that was so weird for the first half of this video um yeah i love this the shoes you know keep the shoe i think this is really cute i don't know when i'm gonna wear it i really don't have an occasion but for 25 euro i couldn't leave it behind it's just a green gingham adorable I mean what more can I say but it's definitely obnoxious and if you're thinking damn I think this girl really has a thing for obnoxious dresses you are correct so this dress this is one that I'm not so sure about this one I posted on Instagram before oh look the sleeves so this is a dress from Omnes O-M-N-E-S uh, I don't know how you're supposed to say it but it's more of a sustainable company. Um, this is made from BCI Cotton and it's a cute print. I love it, but it's just... I'm just not sure if it's a look on me. Um, I have it with the cute shoes, again, the little block heels. 
if you can see them. Um, I'm making a reel of this as well, so you can find that on Instagram to get maybe a better look at all the dresses. Uh, this is cute. It was not cheap. Um, it's the sleeves for me. I um, I feel like maybe I should have prefaced this whole video with kind of a general guide of my proportions. I am short, but I'm quite curvy in that I'm just a thicker person. So this, I think at the time I said it's fine with the underwear I'm wearing right now, but um, if you are bigger chested, you definitely will need to size up. I got a small in this, I'm pretty sure. And if I was any bigger, I would need a medium just for the chest area. Uh, the sleeves are large and they are puff sleeves, but there's like, there's a lot going on and it's just a lot for my body. And because it kind of sits on your chest, if you have boobs, then it, it doesn't really like flatter to this area. Um, it's also just like a lot of fabric on my frame. I'm 160 centimeters, meter 60 on the dot. So do that information what you will, but I don't know, I'm keeping it, but I have thought about changing the sleeves somehow, making them not puff sleeves. I think that would be cute because I really do like the idea that it has sleeves because I live in Ireland. So I, if something doesn't have sleeves, a lot of the time I have to wear a sweater over it. And I don't like that. So the only thing with this dress is though, I wanted to give some accessories a shot in this whole thing as well. Look at this bow. So this is from Grace and Grandeur. I'll have her Etsy shop linked down below. Uh, she's like a small Etsy business, but she actually gave me a discount code, which I think I'm allowed to share. So I will put that, see this is like not sponsored or anything like that, uh, but I'll have that in the description if you like hair bows like myself, but they are beautifully made. I actually just ordered a new one or two new ones uh, and one of them is green for St. Patrick's Day but I was just thinking this dress right and I'm not gonna put my hair up right now but like this bow no we're gonna clip it just half ways I mean I mean that could be a look you know with the bow like properly in I don't know see I love it but I I also don't and I think it's cute but I also don't know so that's this dress anyways, I've been talking for too long. We're on to some more friendly kind of options. So sticking with the same shoes, we're gonna go to this dress from ASOS. So this dress is my most recent buy. I keep changing the camera angle and I'm sorry, but I'm not that sorry. Uh, this dress I'm obsessed with. It's one of my newest, it is my newest buy. Uh, I got it from ASOS and I will link it down below if it's still available. It was on sale like good sale it's from the brand yas it's like hyphenated i don't know if you say it like that or like yas but um i can't remember what size this is but i th i know that this brand the stuff fits me really well especially in the 10 petite i also have a blazer in that but this is a if you can see it like a midi dress at the white sandals on with it but i also think it would look so cute with my veas and that's what i'm probably going to wear it with most of the time and because again ireland rain it's best to kind of have your feet covered a lot of the time i also think it would look cute with my jack rogers but i didn't bother trying on any of the other shoes today i just didn't need to but this is i hope right now i cannot see in the viewfinder but um I hope that you cannot see through it. It's definitely something you would need to go with some skin tone undergarments um, and then, or maybe a slip because it is kind of see-through. Um, but for the price I paid for it on sale, it's not bad. It's so comfortable and like, I couldn't have made something that fits me better. So love this. So last but not least, um, or maybe the least, I just picked this off the rail and I realized, I don't think I've tried it on since I got it, but this is a dress I got on eBay or Depop, I'm not sure. And I'm pretty certain I bought this during lockdown, but again, I can't be certain, certain. And um, the only reason I really think that is that I haven't worn it yet. It's Lily and I know I bought a couple things. I had a stint of buying a few things. Um, so I'm gonna try this on. The reason I'm talking about it first is that I'm actually not sure if it fits. So if not, I'll just get back to you in the same cute dress. 
in a shocking turn of events, this dress does actually fit. Um, it is extremely tight and there is pretty much no stretch. So I'm like inside of this right now. But I mean, it's really cute and I would wear it. Um, it's got a cute gold zipper like a lot of other Lily stuff. This is obviously Lily for Target. I don't know if I already said that. Uh, so originally it was $38. I don't know what I got it for. I know people marked them up so much when uh, the collection was out, but it was like five, six years ago. So it still has the tags on it. I definitely did not pay any more than that. I think I paid probably about 24 or five. Uh, it's cute. I mean, it's definitely a holiday dress. I have the white sandals on still. I had planned on changing shoes and stuff, but then I actually don't really care to. Yeah, this is cute. Like it's not comfortable, but it, I think it looks cute. So I guess we're gonna keep it. So I feel like this video was all over the place, but I think that is just a true reflection of me right now. So there you have it. I cannot wait for the day when I get to actually wear these pieces out in the world but I don't know how soon that day is gonna come. So we're gonna give them their time to shine right now. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of all these outfits down in the comments. Um, if you love them, if you hate them, <laughs> you don't really care, I love them, most of them. Maybe not the blue dress. If you aren't already, subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. I'm gonna be doing a couple of vlogs. In the next couple of days, I actually have an interview for a job, but it's not really in my sector, but we'll get to that. Subscribe to see that. Follow me on Instagram at Anime by Design. I'm very active over on there. You will see all these dresses when they are, you know, actually being worn outside of this room. Follow me on there for all the fun and games, and I will see you in my next video.